look at the first lesson for the algebraic fractions pack. I really like these because it just builds on your um, cancelling and working with fractions from GCSE. So it's quite a nice pack to do. Um, so let's have a look at the first example. So if you look at, to compare the top to the bottom, there's a difference of 3 on the top there for the x squared. So I'm going to take out 3 on the top there. But it gives me an x squared plus 4x on the bottom. Now that's not overly helpful, but if you spot, that there is a difference of two squares. So that's the same as, on the top, three lots of x plus 4, x minus 4. So this gives us a better idea what I can do with the bottom now. So if I take out x as a factor on the bottom, I've got an x plus 4. Now what's vital is you don't do any crazy cancelling out. Just cancel out what's a definite factor of the top and bottom. And that leaves me three lots of x minus 4 over x. So that's the first example done. Right, let's have a look at the second example. Before you start kind of um, multiplying, see what will cancel. So I've got a hint here that I've got x squared minus 9 on the bottom, which is a difference of two squares. But the easiest one to do is a 7 and the 14. So I've now got 2x plus 6 over x times by 2 over, if I split that as a difference of two squares, an x plus 3 and an x minus 3, the top line now I can take a factor out. So I've got two lots of x plus 3 times 2 all over x, x plus 3, x minus 3. Once again, be really careful where you're cancelling out because it has to be a proper factor, which these are. So as a final answer on the top, I've got 4 over x, x minus 3. Right, let's have a look at the next example. Do you extend the page? There. So this is a divide. So if you remember from school, if you're dividing a fraction, you flip it and times it. So if I flip and times, I've got 5x squared over x squared plus 6x minus 7 times by x squared minus 1 over x. Right, so let's have a think about it. The x squared minus 1 is a difference of two squares with an x plus 1 and an x minus 1. So that should give us a hint as to what one of the factors will be on the x squared plus 6x minus 7 because one of them will cancel. And if you look, because it's x squared plus 6x minus 7, That'll be an x plus 7 and an x minus 1. Well, let's have a look. So I've got a 5x squared times by, I've got an x plus 1, x minus 1, all on the top. I've got an x plus 7, x minus 1 on the bottom, times by x. And if I see what cancels now, so the x minus 1's cancel, and one of the x's on top cancels. So I've got a 5x x add 1, all over x add 7. I'm tempted to leave it like that. I wouldn't expand the top, because I might be factorising it like that to find a stationary point or something nice with it. So I'll leave it like that. Right then, let's have a look at example 4. So for these, I need a common denominator, which it says here. So if I look at that, the common denominator will be x minus 3 all squared. Now people get confused and they want x minus 3 cubed, but the x minus 3 goes into the x minus 3 squared. So I'm going to have everything over x minus 3 squared. So I'm going to have 2 over x minus 3 squared. Now I can't just divide the bottom by x minus 3 squared without times in the top by x minus 3 squared. Then I've got the minus 1 over. Now to make that x minus 3 into an x minus 3 squared, 
I need to times it by an x minus 3 on the top and the bottom. So I've got an x minus 3 there. And then I've got a minus x plus 1 over x minus 3, all squared. Right, so let's have a look. Um, so on the top I've got two lots of x minus 3 squared. I've got minus x minus 3. And I've got minus x plus 1. On the bottom I've got x minus 3 all squared. Right, so if I expand some brackets and s let's see if we can collect some like terms. So I've got two lots of x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus x plus 3, being really, really careful with the minus 1 times and the minus 1 times. Then I've got a minus x minus 1. Same idea, being really careful with the minus x and the minus 1. All that is over x minus 3 all squared. So I've got, let's try and collect some like terms. I've got I've got 2 times x squared. I've got nothing else with an x squared on the top, so I've got 2x squared. I've got minus 12x minus 13x minus 14x. There. Then let's have a look at the numbers. I've got 18. I've got add 3 makes 21. Take 1 makes 20. There. So x minus 3 all squared. I'm running out of room. Um, let's give it a go then. I can take out 2 as a factor. x squared minus 7x plus 10. I've got an x minus 3 squared on the bottom. Now think about the x squared minus 7x plus 10. Is that going to factorise? Um, yeah, it's going to be a 5 and a 2. But that doesn't really, really help us because there's nothing will cancel on the bottom. So I've got two lots of x minus 5, x minus 2, and then an x minus 3, all squared. But that doesn't help us. There's nothing else will cancel. But I have managed to combine them together. Right then. Let's have a look at example 5 now. So first of all, let's factorise the bottom. So I've got x squared minus 2x minus 3, so that must be x minus 3, x plus 1. Then I've got 2 over, I've got x squared minus x minus 6, so that must be x minus 3, and then x plus 2. If you look on both of those fractions, the x minus 3 is there, so that's going to be in the common denominator. And then I just look at the other bits, so an x plus 1 and an x plus 2. In the first term, I've used x minus 3 and I've used x plus 1. All I've got left to add to that then, to make it right, is an x plus 2. Then I've got a minus 2. On the bottom, I've used the x minus 3 and the x plus 2. So all I've got to add to it is an x plus 1. Right, so let's have a look at the top then. So I've got an x squared plus 2x minus 2x minus 2 all over x minus 3, x add 1, x add 2. I've got x squared minus 2 on the top. And I've got x minus 3, x plus 1, x plus 2. And I forgot to close that bracket. On the top, it's a difference of two squares, but having x plus root 2 and x minus root 2 isn't really helpful. So I might as well just leave it there. And I think that's the end of the examples. Um, so just have a go at exercise one. Well done. Bye-bye.